Stanford University, the green button. Shot of bell tower at university surrounded by trees, a close-up of computer screen with data, and students in casual clothing walking along paved walkway with stone university building in background. Shot of building with sign, Center for Academic Medicine. Professor talking to someone, pointing at laptop. Nikam E. Shah, MBBS, PhD, Professor of Biomedical Informatics, Stanford University. Shots of doctor approaching elderly patient in hospital bed, entering room where a patient awaits, and examining a patient's neck and stomach. Robert Harrington, MD, Chairman, Department of Medicine, Stanford University. The green button is an idea. Could we use evidence from the millions of patients that we have provided care for to improve the care of the next patient we see? You're at the bedside. You're seeing a patient with a complicated problem. You say, have we ever taken care of patients like this before? What did we learn from them, and how might that inform our decision-making now? Allison Callahan, PhD, instructor, Biomedical Informatics Research, Stanford University. And we can do that by taking advantage of the data and associations between treatments and diseases that we can infer by analyzing electronic health records data. Medicine has been dreaming about having this ability to consult a large library of patient records to make better decisions. We've been thinking about this as a field for 40 years. Finally, with the support of the National Library of Medicine, we have established its feasibility, its safety, and long-term viability. Various shots of professors talking in conference rooms, offices, making phone calls and reviewing data on computers along with a historical picture from 1969 of scientists from the Duke Data Bank of Cardiovascular Diseases program standing in front of a flowchart. The fundamental changes that allowed the green button to happen, building on the experiences of the Duke Group and others many years ago, was that we now have data that's almost ubiquitous. The second is cloud computing. Having access to information is critically important to physicians because medicine really is a data science. Medicine draws upon all the information that's been collected before us. Sometimes we don't know the answer. There's not been randomized clinical trials. That's the kind of question we're trying to use the green button for. A clinician at the bedside, when they have a question, they call us or email us with a request for the situation they're facing. We look through our data warehouse, find similar patients and produce a report that summarizes what happened to patients like theirs. The ability to effectively and quickly search millions of patient records was essential to the success of this service, but the interface really needed to be person to person in order for it to be the most effective for them to sort of take action based on those findings. Across the board, the feedback was that the reports we provided were informative and really useful and in 10 out of the 83 reports that we completed in that first year, providers identified that they changed patient care. Patricia Flatley Brennan, PhD, former National Library of Medicine director, testifying before House Committee on Appropriations. One of our NLM-funded researchers at Stanford has an on-the-moment consulting service, the green button, that allows physicians to learn immediately. It is amazing that something that is funded by a researcher-initiated grant is cited to the U.S. Congress as an example of the kind of innovative work we're able to do with taxpayer dollars. It's critically important that we as a country, and specifically in this case, National Library of Medicine, invest in outside research because ideas come up from all over the place. And it's critical that we have a national mechanism that we can tap into funding to support those great ideas. Gray and blue NIH, NLN logo, serving scientists and society.